Hello, everybody. Welcome to this month's episode of The Journal. I'm Andrew Mailer, town manager here in North Andover, and I'm coming to you in June uh, as the weather is getting uh, progressively better, and hopefully it'll get better as the summer goes on. Our students are still in school, so be mindful of that. They don't get out of school till June 27th this year, and, and hopefully uh, that won't be the case in future years, and the weather will be better. I just completed a very successful town meeting. I want to thank the residents of North Andover who attended the town meeting. We had about 400 people in the first night, which is really great. Um, a lot of important things were discussed with some great feedback and interaction. Uh, specifically, I want to identify the fact that the town meeting approved the new senior center, something that is essentially important to not only the current generation of seniors, but the future generation of seniors. It's going to be located on Sutton Street. It's part of a uh, public-private partner, something, partnership, something that's truly unusual in the community. We're working with a developer who has donated the land. Uh, we're working with them. There's going to be a residential development on the site and also the senior center. In addition, Tom Meeting approved a $9 million open space recreation project to take place where the current Hay Stadium is between the middle school and the Atkinson School. It'll be uh, the most uh, dynamic and exciting and largest, quite frankly, uh, open space project in the town's history. It'll be transformative to the area along 125, something that's very exciting. In both cases, you should start to see us do some real meaningful work toward the design in the fall, I would expect we'd go out to bid, and both projects could be underway, or should be underway, quite frankly, during 2019. Very, very exciting stuff. Also on that site that's along uh, Chickering Road and between the middle school and the ECC is the brand new kindergarten building, which will be known as the Early Childhood Center or the Ann Bradstreet Early Childhood Center, and that'll house kindergarten classrooms in addition to the Early Childhood Center classrooms, and it's going to allow us to reduce average classroom size in the community, something that's been a goal of both the school committee, school superintendent, uh, my office, and, and the Board of Selectmen. I would like to note, with this is the last opportunity to do so, we've been had the great pleasure of having a superintendent of schools and Dr. Price that has been transformative to our school district. We've seen you know, a, a litany of positive results that um, has helped our school kids in, in a district and really helped the community as a whole. She's been a true partner with me. I'm going to miss that partnership. I wish her well in her next endeavor as she goes off to be the head of school in, on BBNN in Cambridge. I think it's a great opportunity for her. They're very fortunate to have her, and we've been fortunate to, to share that partnership over the last couple of years. And of course, I'm looking forward to work with Dr. Gilligan as he becomes our new superintendent as we continue what is unusual in North Andover, this partnership between school and town to make sure that we can get more done with your tax dollars and get more done to make the community a better place to live and work. Thank you.